Hi, I'm back with another creation. If you like farmhouse or fall, then this DIY is for you. It's cheap and easy. It can be hung up or it can sit on a desk. So I'll show you everything you need. Let's get started. Okay, so most of these items are from the Dollar Tree. Okay, you're gonna need two mirrors. You're gonna need one of these placemats. I think they have blue as well as gray, whatever color you prefer. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need two packs of arrows, the glass wall arrows that are stickers. These are from Dollar Tree. From Dollar Tree, you will also need some ribbon. I have the burlap with the lace and then just some lace. Some twine. You're going to need some of the big thick rope from Dollar Tree. Some Gorilla Glue. Some white paint some wire, which you can buy at Dollar Tree, some snips, a pack of fairy lights from Dollar Tree, some batteries from Dollar Tree, a screwdriver, two screws that are very tiny that will not go all the way through your mirrors. You'll see why we need those. And they must have points on. They can't be a, a screw with a flat top. Some screws have um, a flat surface on the top and no point to dig into the wood, you're gonna need one with a point. Okay, so we have two of those. You are going to need some hot glue, so get your glue gun ready. You're going to need some foam. So I would say buy about two of these from Dollar Tree. Some moss, Dollar Tree. This is, I don't know what they call this, a slotted basket, that's what this says on the bottom. This was also from Dollar Tree. You're going to need a pack of the Jenga blocks and flowers. I have some globe flowers. I have two bunches of those. Some ginger flowers, which I honestly should have brought two bunches of these because you know Dollar Tree, if it's there one week, doesn't mean it's going to be there a day later or a week later. Um, and some Queen Anne's lace. The first, one of the first things you want to do is you want to take about let's see how many I have here, five Jenga blocks and you're going to stack them all together into a little wall. Okay, you're going to do three sets of those. So you'll need 15 blocks. Five, five, and five. Okay? So you're going to take the blocks and you're going to make the three little walls. Set them aside. Next, you're going to open up your mirrors and then you're going to glue them together and you want to glue them together uh, you can glue them together anyway I, I glued them together the the wider way okay so they're like this not like this not so it's really long but so it's wide if that makes sense okay you're going to let this dry, as well as the Jenga blocks. Or should I say power ring blocks. Alright, so. Just run a thin coat of Gorilla Glue here, and then you're going to push them together like this, and you're going to let it sit until it's completely dry, okay? So when you pick this up, it's still going to be a little bit wonky, so we're going to need some cardboard for the back. So we're going to, um, when we open up one of these mirrored arrows, stickers. They just so happen to put a piece of cardboard in there. So instead of throwing that away, we're going to take this piece of cardboard and all I did was cut this little tab part where they can hang it up on the shelf. Just cut the, that straight across. And then we're going to take this piece and on the back of the mirror, once it's dried, you're going to glue it just like this 
but on the back side of this, not where the mirror is, on the back, to help give it some stability. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. Once this is dried, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna glue that back cardboard on. While this is drying, if you choose, you could take a paintbrush and paint this white. Okay, we're gonna dry brush it. So that means you're gonna need very, very little paint. You're gonna dip your brush in and you're gonna wipe it off onto a newspaper or something. I always put a piece of parchment down when I, when I glue things or when I'm painting so that if I make a mess, it doesn't go on my work surface on my table and that I have something to wipe my brush off on. So you're just gonna, you know, just gently rub it on picture frame trying to avoid the glass but if you get it on the glass it's no big deal we can clean that off later if you don't want to do this step until your picture frames are dry you can wait or you can do it now either way I like to do it while it's still wet so I can get ahead a little bit I try to keep my ideas when I'm making a craft for you guys. I'm tr I try to um, make everything really cheap. That's why I love the dollar store. So that you guys can afford to do the craft that I'm making. And I want to show you that, you know, you can make nice crafts from Dollar Tree. Just because it's a dollar store doesn't mean that you can't make nice crafts. You just have to have a little bit of imagination. And I got paint on the glass, but don't worry. That comes up really easy with like a baby wipe or some wet paper towel. So don't even worry about that. I'm gonna finish the other picture frame, painting it around all the sides. Let this dry, once this is dry, I'll be back. Okay, got my wire through, through the material, through the hole in the basket. And then you just leave a little bit of extra wire and you take your two wires and you hold them together and you spin your basket so your wire is really nice and tight. Okay? So now this is attached to your basket on this side. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to find the hole, the very top hole in your basket and you're going to poke a wire through the bottom and then you're gonna twist it tight. Okay, so here's our basket with the wires. The wires are gonna be in the front, okay? We're leaving these in the front. This is the back part of the basket. This has no wires in it. Here's your picture frame or your mirror, okay? On the on the mirror right here where it has this lip, that's where you're going to hot glue and Gorilla Glue your basket. Right here, right under that lip. So it's just like this. Okay? So that's the next step. Hot glue and Gorilla Glue the basket underneath that little lip right there. Okay, once you have your basket on, I know you're going to think, God, this is flimsy. This is never going to hold together. It's going to fall apart. But I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that. Remember those little screws that we had? Okay. So we're going to take these screws and we're going to screw it into the frame right here. Okay. Don't screw it all the way in because what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire from this side and you're going to bring it up to the screw and you're going to wrap it around nice and tight. Okay, but you're going to, we're going to wait until this basket is dried on. Okay, because otherwise it's just going to fall off. But that's the next step. One screw here on this side, one screw on that side. And if you screw it in and your frame cracks, 
fill in the crack with Gorilla Glue. Just pour in Gorilla, Gorilla Glue in the crack. All right, and let it completely dry before you move on to any more steps. Okay, so put those two screws in. And we're gonna also fix the back so it's more stable once this is dried. Okay. If you get any cracks by where you put your screws, put fill it with Gorilla Glue and hot glue and let it dry. And see, it? don't put your screw really close to the seam of the picture frame where the mirror is. See where it comes together? I'm trying not to blind you here. There's like a little crease where the picture frame comes together where it's mitered, the corner. Don't put your screw really close to that because it'll make it crack. And don't twist your screw all the way in because you're going to be wrapping your wire around that to hold your basket. Okay? Then you're going to take some of the bigger nautical rope or jute rope and you're going to hot glue that around the frame. And that's also going to make the picture frame sturdier. Okay, I'm going to finish gluing this on, and you can cut these ends off. You don't need these ends so long. Leave a little bit, you know, I would say maybe leave about that much on, on the wire that's wrapped around the screw. Let me see if I can go show you guys. See what I did? I screwed the screw in, but I didn't leave it. I didn't screw it in all the way. See how it's still room? And then I took the, the wire from here and wrapped it up around the screw and twisted it together. Okay, you do that on both sides. And then you can cut the extra wire off of this. See how long it is? Okay, it's all the way out to here. You can cut it to maybe here and then wrap this extra wire around here. All right. Then you're gonna you're gonna hot glue your jute, your thick jute, around your frame. We're gonna do that. Finish doing that, and then I'm gonna flip it over, and then carefully. Here's where those little walls I had you made and paint are gonna come into play. You have three of them. So you're gonna glue one in one corner. Let me see if I can show you better. You're gonna glue one in one corner here, one in the middle, and one on this end. And what's that, what that is gonna do is it's gonna help it stand up and give it some more stability. And then you have that one extra piece that I told you, you just need one extra piece that you're gonna glue in the front. You're gonna put it like this, and you're gonna glue that right in the middle. Okay? So I'm gonna finish gluing on my jute, and on my little stands, and I'll be right back. Okay, when you go to glue these back parts on, two things. One, you might have these strings too tight and the basket up too high, like this. You might have to undo these wires and let the basket drop down so you can see where it needs to go. And two, you're only gluing the top of this. That's it. You're only putting the hot glue on the top. And then you're sticking it under the very edge and you want to make sure that the edge of the frame is right on that edge of the block. So it stands up on its own. Okay. And then after you have these three together on the back, glued in and they're secure, then glue the front one in. 
and then you can reattach your wires to make sure that it the basket isn't being pulled up too high it's okay I had to do that with the first one I I put it together and I, I twisted the wires and then I seen that the basket was lifted too high and then I had to undo it. It's no big deal. You can reattach it easily and it'll be much more sturdy now that you have on the, the cord glued to the whole frame and that you have this these little blocks on the back helping it. Okay. Because it'll almost stand on its own. I don't have the support in the front. So then you just need this to lay down. Okay. So once that's glued. You just glue that on. And then you can put these back. You don't want to pull it so that the basket is in the air. You want the basket to be down. So you might need to adjust where you had your wire before. And make it a little bit looser. Same thing with the other side, and then just glue this piece on, and it should sit for you on its own once I have this other side and this part glued. Okay, now hopefully, everybody is at this point where it's all together, you got everything secured and all of the brackets are on the back, the wires on, the rope around. Next thing we're going to do is put some foam in here, which I already did on mine. Put some foam in the bottom. Then what you're going to do is take some hot glue and spray it over the top of the foam and then carefully put some moss down. going to cover up the foam. You want to make sure you cover up the foam that's in the front. So Get some glue on that. Okay. Okay, we have our little arrows. I'm going to put them on just the way that they are on the paper. And the direction they are on the paper is the direction that I'm putting them on the mirror. Okay, every single one of these have a little film over top of 
the mirror part that you have to peel off. It doesn't look like it has anything on it, but if you take your fingernail and scratch the corner, you'll see that there's a very thin layer over top of the sticker that you have to peel off. Okay, and be very careful when you place these because they're very thin and fragile. So if you put it somewhere where you didn't want it to go, if you try to peel it off, you're going to break them. So try to make every effort you can to put it where you want it. I'm just gonna go okay so I just went and got a couple baby wipes and now's the time you want to just make sure that your glass is nice and clean okay give that a minute to dry Then, when it's dried, just start putting your arrows on the way that you want them. Okay, three more. All right, we got all of our arrows on. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to set your lights down over here. Wrap this around. Wrap this around a couple times like this. Okay, so you have the first light on here. And then set it back here. Then start hot gluing the lights all around your picture frame or your mirror. right where your rope is, all around the outside. Okay, so it looks like that. I'll be right back when I have that finished. Okay, so all of the lights are on, and again, be careful when you're hot gluing. I suggest you using some kind of metal stick or wooden or something to put your glue down and then push your little light onto the glue spot and hold it there with the with the wire or with the wood whatever you're using not your fingers because you will get burned okay so the next thing I did was take some burlap ribbon and I measured it to fit around the front of the box okay and then I cut it okay and then I took the lace and I ripped it apart and I pulled it off the whole piece until I just had the lace. Okay? So that is what you're going to glue around the front of your box. You're going to glue this piece just like this. Then I took the burlap ribbon after it had the lace pulled off of it and I folded it in half like this. See, this is one piece. And then I folded the piece in half, right? 
so it looked like that and then I took the scissors and I cut it up the middle so that it became two pieces and then I made a tiny little bow out of the middle out of one of the pieces and we're gonna glue that on the middle okay so we're just gonna glue that right here all right you're gonna glue this and then you're gonna take some of the smaller lace ribbon and you're gonna glue that on top of this so you're gonna have this and then this is gonna go right over top of the lace ribbon that you glued on first okay there's the first ribbon now you're gonna glue the smaller one right on top okay next we're going to just start cutting our flowers and putting them in and I'm using the greens on mine as well Put as many as you want. It's up to you how many you want to put. I like to leave the greens on my flowers. I leave the leaves on. And the good thing about this is you can put these flowers in and when you get sick of these flowers you can always pull them out real easily we're not gluing them in we're just sticking them in so if you ever get tired of them pull them out and put different ones in and if the foam has too much too many holes in from pulling your flowers in and out all you have to do is pull out the whole block of foam it's not glued in the bottom just pull it out put a new block of foam in put glue on top again put some moss on top again and then put whatever flowers you want in Okay, I'm going to go run and get some more Queen Anne's lace that I have in my stockpile. In the other room, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. One final thing that we have to do to finish this project is to make a bow. These guys don't want to stay on their own and make troubles. Stay on your own side, thank you. Alright. So I'm just going to cut this piece off that I showed you. 
what I did. All right. Now you're gonna make sure you have your craft wire nearby. You're gonna put this, wrap it around your finger till you have a loop. Okay. This ribbon does have wire in it, so it'll be a little bit easier for you to hold on to. Okay, you're going to have a hole like that. Then you're going to twist it, and you're going to decide how big do you want your loops for your bow. I'm thinking that's pretty good because we're going to put it up here in the corner. You got one loop, twist, and if you ever want to judge to make sure your loops are the same, pull them up, pull them up together. They're even, so yes, that's enough ribbon. Twist, another loop, twist, one more final loop. Do not twist the last one. Grab your scissors, leave a little bit extra. Grab your wire, carefully slide your finger out of the hole that you're holding on to and slide the wire through the hole. Now pull that wire really tight, twirl it around. Cut the wire short because we're going to glue it on. Then fluff it up a little bit. Once you have it fluffed up to your likings, put a little dab of hot glue on and then you decide on yours, do you want it on this side or do you want it on this side? I think I'm going to put mine on this side. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back and then you're going to have to hold it in place for a minute or two without burning yourself for the millionth time. I have a blister on every single finger. All right, there you go. And that is it. It is probably six o'clock in the morning and I haven't gone to sleep yet. I have blisters on my fingers. It's all for you guys to show you how much I love you. I will be back with another DIY. Hope you stay tuned and subscribe. Love you guys. Good night.